Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Rory. Today we're going to make a cinematic title. There's so many ways to do it. So many videos on it, but this will just give you another idea. We're in the edit page. I have a clip here of a field. We're going to right click in our media pool, new fusion composition, hit create. We're going to drag that down into our timeline, put it about in the middle. We're going to highlight it. We're going to jump over into the fusion page. I'm going to switch to one viewer. <laughs> we got our media out node. We're going to drag in a text node. We're going to hook that up. And we're going to type some text here. I'll use all caps and type cinematic. We'll stick with that. I'm going to leave the same font, but I'm going to change it to light. And I'm going to change the tracking to something like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right click in here. And we're going to go to follower. That's going to give us a modifiers tab. We're going to click that. The first thing I'm going to do is come to Delay. I'm going to change that to 2. That's the delay between the characters. Order. In this case, I'm going to go left to right. There's different options you can play with. Any of these will work. Completely random. Or random, but one by one. But for this example, we're going to go left to right. Then we're going to come over to our shading tab and we're going to come down here to softness. Make sure our playhead is at the beginning. I'm going to set a keyframe for X and Y on the softness. I'm going to crank them all the way to 20. You can see that faded in the moment. I'm going to come to about frame 60. And I'm going to take them back down to zero. So what that'll do is it will fade in slowly. You can see these are clear now. And these are still faded left to right. And now they're all in. That's the effect we got there. So we can jump over into our edit page. And we'll play that back. I'm going to turn my render cache on to smart. <laughs> and we'll play that back. And we can see it fade in like that slowly. Pretty simple effect. The other thing you can do is if you create some title like this that you like, we can go up here, these three dots. We can click on them and show power bins. I'm going to pull this up. This is our power bins. You can make other folders in there. So we'll click this folder open. We can drag that right in there. We'll click on the name here. We'll just name it Fade In. For this example, then if you ever want to use that again, it's always going to be there. You just open your power bins and it's going to be there. We can take this out of here. You can go to this if it was something you wanted to use, drag it in. You can go to the fusion page. And then you can go to the text tab and change it, make any changes you want. And it's always going to be there in the power bin. That's all I got for you with this video. Something pretty simple. We'll see you in the next video.